What's up guys? In this video, Ryan B, my business partner, is gonna show you how to build a website using only AI. He's gonna keep it really simple, so if you've never built anything using AI or you're not a developer, that's okay. He even taught me how to do it, and I don't know anything about tech. I'm terrible at it. I'm more of a sales guy, marketing guy. But Ryan B taught me how to do it. I built a website with AI, and he's gonna show you how to do it in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into it, and he's gonna explain the whole thing. And as always, guys, you can join LeeBase Pro by clicking the link in the description and get more tutorials like the one you're about to watch. Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna go over one of the easiest ways to build a website with AI. Now, when you're building a website for your brand, it does not matter what you use. You can use AI, you can use WordPress, you can use Webflow, Squarespace, Wix, custom build, doesn't matter. All that does matter is making sure it looks presentable and professional. That's the biggest thing. When it comes to your landing pages, that is what we care about. And we always are gonna be preaching to use Unbounce just because they have the best split testing functionality. And that's what it's all about, it's all about testing. So. Without further ado, let's dive into this. So for this example, we're gonna use Lovable. This is gonna be the easiest and fastest way to uh, get a website up. You probably will want to buy one of the paid plans. The cheap one is $25 a month. And I recommend that just because of the amount of time you're gonna be saving instead of trying to figure out WordPress or anything like that, where I'm um, trying to import templates, it can break, it can be annoying. This way you can just get this up literally within an hour, maybe less if you want to go fast. First things first is we need to find an inspiration site that you want to take, you know, essentially inspo from and bring that into your lovable build. So let's pop over to one of our sites we've built before. Save with Henry, you know, pretty basic. So you just go to the website, I click inspect. Let's bring that out a little bit. And then on my keyboard, I'm not sure if it's different for you guys, but I have control shift p and that's going to get us into the commands up here and then you just type and then you just want to go capture full size screenshot and then what that's going to do that is going to download the full page into your downloads folder so let's go back to lovable close let's say with henry and then i will drag that from my downloads perfect just like that and then let's create a prompt i'm going to try, uh please clone this this website exactly then morph it into an insurance website for the brand if i can type that'd be great for the brand insurance ian please do not copy any wording or images please create a contact us page yeah, I think we'll do that. And then we're going to add our information on that later. So let's just get this going and I'll hit submit. All right. And then I'm just going to let us do his thing. It might take a couple minutes. Okay. So we've now finished. Let's take a look. I, uh, honestly, not bad for a first pass. That's definitely passable. All right. Let's change a couple things here. So let's go. Please make the hero section not full screen height. Let's do maximum 50%. Let's reduce the coverage cards to only three instead of six. The formatting spacing for the lines is messed up. Um, and honestly, I'm okay with the rest. And then we'll let it do this thing. So I'll hit submit that. And then while that's working, we're gonna go over to ChatGPT. But what you can also do, you can use Midjourney or any other image gen AI. And we're gonna wanna make a, you know, this is where you're gonna wanna make your assets. So generate a illustration of a friendly man who is smart and is wearing business casual clothing. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Make the background transparent, please. Again, you can use ChatGPT, Midjourney. You can use stock images that you get from deposit photos. 
or any of the other ones. Yeah, again, I don't, I do not care what this would look like. If it looked terrible, I would definitely spend a lot more time on this. This is probably where you spend most of your time. Building your website is finding those assets and your branding uh, that you want to do. All right, so going back over here, looks like we got. This looks pretty good so far. I don't like the spacing. Okay, thank you. Please fix the spacing in the hero so it's symmetrical. And then, so I'll let it do its thing here. And again, you can add more sections, play it around with it, whatever you want to do. But yeah, like I said, we're just going to let it do its thing. Okay, this is better. Don't mind that. That looks good. All right, let's check chat, see if it's done. Okay, this is now done. Don't love it, but again, for the sake of example, we're just going to use it. So let me just download that and we will put this in our website. Okay, so I have downloaded the image and let me just rename it quickly. Let me just rename it that. So then I'm just going to drag the image into here. Please replace this image or please replace the hero image with this one. And then it will replace that one. It might also replace this one too. But I think I want to get rid of this and just make this centered and stretch across. So we'll do that after it's done thinking. And let's do its thing. And then we'd also need to change this one too. But this all looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then I want to get I want to change this thing. So Again, just showing you how I'd work and how quickly this can really take. Please remove the image in the footer. I just want the text to be centered. Center in the footer. Footer and please reduce the padding as well. Okay, so I messed up this prompt. I accidentally used the footer and it changed this. So I don't want to change this, I want to change this. So what I did, it made the edits, and then all I had to do was come back up here and hit restore. So again, no issues there. So let's change, take this prompt again, and please remove the image in the section of near the bottom. I'm just going to my spacing here, near the bottom. All right, let's try this. All right, so just publish it and this looks pretty good. I think I would tinker with it and I want to have a, a bit more um, padding up, a, up at the top and bottom and maybe change the color because it's a little too close to the footer, but you get the idea. But other than that, that looks good. And then the last thing you would want to do, I'm sorry, two more things we want to do is we want to add like an assessment page. So we usually want to link that to one of our unbounced pages. So just for ease of use, that's what I would recommend. So you would send it to your subdomain or unbounce would be secure.insurancene.com. Please add a menu item called assessments. Please link that to, for this example, I would just use insurance. Oh, I can't see based on this. I believe it's insuranceand.com slash assessment, but you would link that to, you know, you want your unbounced pages. So it'd be secure.insurancing.com slash, you know, assessment or whatever that is. Let's just do that. Okay, great. And we now have assessment in our menu. And another thing we, we, yeah, you will have to do is you'll have to create a privacy policy in terms of service. So you would just instruct it to do that. You can say, you know, please comply with all the law, rules and regulations and laws in, you know, all 50 states, yada, yada. And then you would want to review that and make sure that is compliant. You are, you have all the necessary verbiage and disclaimers that are in there, but we're just not going to do that just because they're not lawyers. We now have that. That's now done. And then the last thing we need to do for the website before we publish this thing is go to our contact page that was built. So... Again, I would play around with this. I would maybe get rid of this white space that's here. You just ask it to move that up. This is odd, but it, you know, it, it's all fine. So the main thing we need to do, we need to connect this form to, if someone does come to our website, we would need to, again, connect it to be able to send out the what, what the form receives. So there's two ways to do this. We're going to do the simple way for now. 
But the proper way and the more legitimate way is to use Superbase. So you'd create a Superbase at the top here. You just click this button. You click it. It's essentially a backend database that can then, you know, store all the submissions and then it can send it out to you. We're going to do the easy and fast way. So you don't have to worry about that for now. But I recommend you to eventually do go to Superbase for that. But again, not a big deal. So what we need to do is how this is going to work. You're going to use Zapier, 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 whatever you want to call it. And, or, you know, another automation tool, whether that's, you know, the AI one, Lindy, make.com, any of these will work for sure. Any to end, anything. So what we need to do is create, please create a web hook catch to then send to a Google sheet and then send an email. Cool. So it's going to help create me that. But for the meantime, to show you how to do this is we're going to do a webhook test. So this is the website, webhook.site. It's just a place to test webhooks because this is what's going to do. We're going to send a webhook from any time this form is submitted to Zapier and it's going to catch the webhook data here and then it's going to send it to the Google Sheet and then it's going to send an email out to us to notify that we have a new submission. So I'll just do the first steps from it, but we can honestly probably do it this way too. So let's get this and let's test the trigger and let's just copy that. We don't even need the test site to be honest, actually. We can just do it this way. And then, so we're just going to do that. So please send all submissions from the contact form to the webhook. And then we'll let us do its thing, update that, and then we will send the test one. And then you should see that in Zapier here. So that is now updated. So let's do a test. Okay, so we now have that updated. I've now pre-filled the form. So let's take a look at this test, see if it's worked. So send message. So message sent, so that looks good. And then you can also tell it to, you know, create a thank you page and redirect to that upon form submission. Anything you want, just tell it what you want to do and it will do it. So let's hop over back to Zapier and test trigger. Awesome, so we got a request. So we have name, email, phone number, insurance type, message, timestamp, triggered form. Perfect, so that worked great, super easy. So then you would just, all you would have to do is update your Google Sheet, fit, fit that, and go to email, fit that. So again, super simple. So let's get rid of this, and let's go back to this. Now, all we have to do is publish this thing. So just go publish. What you would do is you would follow the instructions and add your custom domain. So it's not, you know, this weird domain level app. You would have, you know, insuranceian.com or whatever. So then you just hit publish after you do your custom domain, obviously. And then we'll check it out on, on the site. Cool. So I think that is now published. So let's just click that. And yeah, here's, a, here's the website done in, I don't know, about 20 minutes. You have a website up and running and then you just like, you know, play around with everything. It looks good. Contact, a quote, and then your assessment, obviously, but that's linked out to another site that we did. That would be to your own page. So yeah, that is lovable. And then if you do have a paid plan, you can go into your settings and get rid of edit made with lovable. So yeah, like I said, that, that is it. And it takes about 20 minutes. Let me know if you guys have any questions.